gates of hell. Come on. We have to find her. We have to find Cassandra. Mako, I don't question that you've maybe learned a little bit about military tactics at this point, but have you actually had much range time or anything like that? Because I know at the start when she first picked up the pistol in the tutorial, she said, whatever's in there doesn't know I can't aim. This place feels so it's not something she knew how to do before, really. Old. Even the air feels strange, doesn't it? Humanity was never meant to be here. We're not wanted. This place is as big as a city. And the map is incredibly blurry. Terminal Correspondence, direct to Barbara Price, to Wayland yutani Chief Xenobiologist Carl. Dr. Carl, I'm sorry to hear about your staff, but they knew the risk. Rest assured that what remains of your escort is enough to get you out. But we're not done with Old Devi. See to it that samples, eggs, and specimens coming from Xeno City are immediately retrieved and brought to me. But don't go through the spire. These fanatics have eyes everywhere, even in Pharos. Use my accreditation key, attached. Vermilion level should give you the authority you need. Next, upload the data you mentioned. Use multiple terminals just in case they're jamming our comms. I want everything we spoke about. The first colonists' reports, their journals, the letters, everything you could get. Understood? Gather as much data as possible and move straight to the Pioneer Station. Already a shuttle for your team. These assets need to reach the company. I'm sure your sacrifices won't go unnoticed. The board will hear about it. You have my word. I trust you on this. Good luck, doctor. So I guess the shuttle, the Bentonville, at least from what I'm reading here, Price probably actually didn't intend for it to be unleashed on Pioneer Station. She probably intended to send them to some other place to study, like some other company holding to study. And... Marlo and his cult caught wind of it and managed to hijack enough of the crates and stuff coming out of Old Divide to turn everything into this disaster. So, I guess we're going to go try to fix as much of it as we can at this point. I, I read it, game. I promise you, I read it. See? I read it. Okay, it's just not gonna leave. The the HUD is just a little bit weird right now. Damn. Looks like these guys ran out of fuel. Welcome to my tomb. Who the fuck are you? His legacy. How many sins has this guy made of himself? Where's Cassandra? Oh, you're looking for the voice. I'm afraid you'll have to go deeper into our sanctuary. Shouldn't we just shoot this guy? Go ahead. Shoot me. You humans and your obsession with entropy. Okay then, enjoy the entropy. You know, 
If you want an example of this kind of mission done well, arguably a lot of what this game was going for done well. There's a mission in StarCraft 2. It's the one where you have to choose between taking out the giant worm, the siege worm things, or the uh, the flyers in the final mission of the Terran campaign of StarCraft 2. And if you choose the worms, then you get to take control of several of like the major NPCs. It appears we have visitors today. Give me a fucking break. It's so lovely to have you here. Look how well she worked. One cannot cease to be amazed by the Ascended. To think these corporate fools believe they could harness their power. How amusing. I wish I could have been there. When they first tried. Man meeting the ultimate organism. Your innocence all so pure. Facing the cold perfection of the Void. If only they had known that day about Xenosynthesis. You could have been one with them. Oh yes, you could have. You went this close. <laughs> the irony. What a waste of time. Okay, reading the logs. Alabama Fletcher to Peter Crossier. I don't care what they promised us, promised us, Peter. I'm putting an end to this. Too many people have died already. It's not just about us anymore. These things are spreading. Everything our families tried to build on Lethe is at risk, and I won't stand for it. I'm sealing the tunnel. People I trust are gathering explosives as we speak. That leaves us with the containers, and for that, I need your help. We have to burn those eggs and burn them now before the company arrives. Hurry up, Peter. You could still make the right choice. Well... Wasn't Alabama, didn't we find logs relating to them in the tunnels earlier? And one of those miners was saying, I don't know why they don't believe it. Maybe at that point they just realized it was already too late. Because it seems like here at least they were trying to stop things. Eleanor Crozier log. I never would have dared to dream of such a moment. 47 years of space exploration, including 13 as a commanding officer, and not a single discovery worth mentioning. Then, Trimonite, enough to make the Fletchers happy. But someone or something wanted us to find our own kind of treasure. This city? I can't wrap my head around it just yet. My chief scientific officer believes this could predate humanity by several millennia. Imagine that. I wish Claron were still with us. He would have written dozens of theories already. Maybe it's him amongst the stars who's rewarded us for our patients. Peter Crozier to Alabama Fletcher. Listen, Alabama, I know these things are dangerous, and trust me, I get that your teams are angry. They made that abundantly clear when they tried to beat me up with their mining tools this morning, but we gotta keep on. Way you wants these eggs, but until the big shot's in charge with the money... It's up to you and me to run this place. My mom made me swear on her deathbed, and I'm damn sure that your father in her place would have done the same. So I say we go on. We use the massive hangars you built for your refinery to store the eggs. Think, Alabama. How many eggs can we fit into one container? How many containers can we fit into those hangars? If you're smart, we can both come out of this the richest pioneers this galaxy has ever known. You and your children will be set up for life. Uh, you and your children are probably not around anymore because of that. Great job. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, if you choose to take out the worms in that mission, then you get to take control of several of the a squad of several of the major NPCs that you've been talking to on your ship up to that point. Kind of similar to what this is doing, but you know, you still have the full HUD, you have full control of everyone, they all have really cool abilities. It's I mean, that game in the whole StarCraft II trilogy has its flaws, but I did really like that mission. And I feel like that's what part of what this was trying to do. Honestly, you could argue that's a big part of what this whole game was trying to do, was having like a smaller squad, but a lot of RTS type things, a lot of stealth things going on, and it just did not quite work. Anyway, I think the synth is done ranting and they've made it abundantly clear that it's pointless to take them out. They'll just send another one to talk at us. So on we go. This place doesn't end. Where's Cassandra? 
Well, they said city, underground city, several times. Did you expect it to be small? Well then. This is gigantic. This whole planet's a freak show. So, this used to live in that city? Probably. See its chest? This was a host for one of those creatures. And what came out of that one? Been here. This ain't the time to be playing archaeologist. Come on, there's a passage over here. Okay, so as far as skills go, we have shotguns and grenades. Nothing else. I mean, we could have had flamethrowers and mines, but... I suppose you've met the owners of these premises. There's so much we could learn from them just by walking those galleries. I'm supposed to lose. It's really feeling like that. Why didn't we bring more people? Or not. Okay. These guys are just kind of invincible, I guess. Saves me time. a dead end.
guess we found the big ass version of these damn eggs. Doesn't matter how big you are, this creature will adapt. It always does. This way, don't does be mean some of them are also you small. Don't exactly match what they were made for. Do we really have to do this? Seems like a terrible idea. I'm afraid we have no choice. This has been a long, long string of terrible ideas. So why stop now? Okay, yeah, these do look unusual. So the eggs are either in some kind of stasis or going by what he was hinting at, the eggs have certain requirements for their host and they won't open for something that is unsuitable. Which honestly implies Come a lot on. more complexity to these eggs than to you? I realized. It's not that stuff I'm worried about stuff happening, it's that I'm trying to figure out where you want me to go. And one of them got stuck. One of them is still stuck. Oh, yeah. The eggs, they're opening. <laughs> Relax, you're fine. I'm only kidding. Okay, I guess we're just going towards the synth. Uh, okay, which one of you keeps getting stuck? There, thank you. See? You've made it. Cassandra's not far now. And considering how happy you seem about that, I just get the feeling that we've played right into your hands, but on we go. They're here. Enough of these damn synths. Permission to engage! There are dozens of them. Save your ammo and focus on finding Cassandra, Sergeant. You, you that have come this far, take her. But you have to promise. Promise you will take care of her. She embodies years of research. Decades. She's the pinnacle of our Maker's work. He who has sacrificed so much. If only he could stand with us today. To witness Cassandra's first steps. To finally reach the culmination of human evolution. She is the only voice the Hive answers to. The bridge between your two species. The door to Xenosynthesis. Okay, I can't send them any further than that, so... Can you hear me? Who... who are you? I'm a friend of your father's. Dad! He's here. So who's gonna touch something and just bring all hell down upon us? No. It's waking up. Guys, I have a bad feeling about this. We need to hurry. <laughs> Well, he's gone. That was, uh... A very sudden and ignoble death. Motivation. Oh, well, he's gonna go too, I guess. I liked him. Well, there went 
the last character I was rooting for in all this. Run! None of them get stuck on the frickin' eggs. So I'm gonna actually stop and monitor that. Stay behind me. Huh? More are coming! So it's just gonna get her, and that's gonna be that, isn't it? Really wish I could tell her to keep running while Mako walked and dealt with this. Start running. Never mind. If you just continued on the planned course, you would have been a lot further ahead of it. trying to fix that and then for a second it wouldn't actually let me move the cursor and I had to recenter it on them to get it to kind of work. I think it's trying to get through. Maybe just keep running. Huh? More are coming! Just outrun it. There's something wrong. Run, Cassandra! We're getting out! Oh, 
or not. Stay close to me, Cassandra. Was supposed to have some amount of control over them. You know, maybe if y'all just ran now. Maybe if you had legs, you could have caught us. That's what the Marines we left up here have been doing, along with the sentry guns. Um, and it looks like those Marines might have been toast. I saw the Xenomorphs doing something. Hunter, Hunter. Let's get the hell out of here before these nukes detonate. I mean, technically, we still had over a week. Apparently not. I think every other major character that we have met has bit the dust at this point. Because I think he's gone. The doctor, Bookard, I think, she's gone. Uh, I suppose the engineer and the therapist are still alive, but out of every NPC we've met, just toast. I'm not sure if that last squad of Marines got to make it out or not.
I guess they made it out. I mean, I'm not going to say that all of the achievements that went by, because I got the one for all the Marines being alive. And, I mean, yeah, I, I save scummed. I wasn't technically save scumming for everyone to be alive. It's just that it either went perfectly or everyone got eaten by xenomorphs. It, it, there was never a middle ground. So... Not that I'm going to do it, and I'm probably going to even cut this bit out of the recording, but I'm curious. So, what is New Game Plus? When starting a Game Plus campaign, the following rules apply. You keep your Marines from the finished campaigns. Marines keep their level, trait, attributes, and prostheses, but they lose everything else. What do you mean by prostheses? Was that a whole system that I just somehow never saw? Do you mean upgrades? 
Marine's maximum level is raised to 15. A new upgrade slot is available at level 15. And you can change the campaign parameters. I get the feeling that Nightmare Mode was balanced around New Game Plus. But yeah, unless they release a DLC or something to make me come back to this. I have such, such mixed feelings on this game. It's a game that I really wanted to love. It's a game that I did love initially for maybe the first couple missions. And the issues with the control scheme, with the user interface, and frankly, with just like things like the objectives and the actual mission design all just kind of started to pile up. And so it went from, I really like it to it's a bit of a mixed bag to, oh God, just let me finish this thing. And the ending also kind of killed like the tiny handful of characters I actually cared about. Namely the slightly charming Sergeant guy that never said anything that had like a wolf skull on his armor and stern so can't say it really won me over on a story front i don't know i might actually do a longer review on it if i can get my thoughts in order and if i think i have enough things to say about it to actually be worth its own separate video I think I've still got enough footage to maybe put some clips together to showcase some of the issues, like some of the, some of the off cuts that you guys aren't going to see in the Let's Play, where I was just trying to get down a corridor like 20 times in a row and it just was not working. Uh, yeah, I, I, I might have enough there for it to be worth a video. We'll see. But if not... Yeah, my final thoughts on it. It's a game I really wanted to like. It's a game that I feel is kind of unique in some ways and has, like, I'd say it's worth playing, but maybe get it on sale and just be aware of its flaws. Don't play it on hard or nightmare at the start. Like, try it on medium and see how you go. And I don't say that about a lot of games, so... I mean, unless I was playing it completely wrong, I guess, I guess YouTube gets to be the judge of that one. So I'm sure that at least some people are going to point out a million things I did wrong, and some of them may actually have a point. Who knows? But, yeah, if I if I don't manage to scrape together enough thoughts to get a full review out, that that's my thoughts on the game. So, thank you for getting to the end of this i i know by the end it maybe wasn't the best the best viewing experience unless you like seeing me just angry at the game i guess